and good morning everyone. I'm Paula Ferris from ABC News headquarters here in New York with this ABC News digital special report and we do have a developing story right now from Afghanistan in the capital of Kabul where there's been yet another attack this time near the parliament. Taliban suicide bombers and gunmen stormed a foreign guest house. This ambush comes as NATO troops begin their withdrawal from the country. There have been nearly a dozen attacks in Kabul over the last two weeks but this particular attack still going on, still very fluid. And ABC's Mohammed Leela joins us right now from London with the very latest. Good morning, Mohammed. Good morning, Paula. What is the latest you going know, on I right should now? Uh, start Sure, Paula. So I should start by saying that I've never seen a flurry of attacks like this in such a short period of time. I've been covering that region for almost three years now. I've never seen anything like this. Today's attack, very brazen, very bold. The Taliban started out the way they normally do. They sent a suicide bomber to the perimeter of this compound. Suicide bomber detonated his vests, uh, and then the attackers tried to storm the building. We do know that this was a foreign guest house. We don't know the nationality of uh, the NGO that was operating that guest house. The Taliban have said they targeted this guest house because it was what they're calling a clandestine Christian missionary center that was actually being used to gather intelligence on the militants who were operating in Kabul and in Afghanistan. Now, certainly this wouldn't be the first time that the Taliban have targeted a compound because it was Christian. We do know that they've done so in the past. Uh, and, and they take exception to Christian organizations operating in Afghanistan because they say Christian uh, missionaries have no uh, reason to be there. Uh, I should also point out that this attack now has been going on for more than two hours, and we do believe believe that at least one of the attackers has made it inside that compound and is now holed up inside that compound. There's still an exchange of gunfire. There are still explosions uh, that, that, that we're hearing. Uh, so this is still a very fluid, uh, fluid situation. And I should also add uh, that we're not sure right now whether or not there are still foreigners trapped inside that compound. We're getting in some indications that there were foreigners at the initial moment of the attack uh, and that there may be a rescue mission underway to try to rescue some of them. Yeah, we have no confirmation of fatalities, but you do note the multitude of attacks, uh, nearly a dozen in the last couple of weeks. You just touched on it, though, Mohammed. Let's go back to this. The foreign guest house was home to a Christian-run organization. Was this just a targeted attack, an overt targeted attack in your mind? Well, well, absolutely. Listen, what we've seen in the last couple of weeks and why this is why it's so dangerous, Paula, is because in the past there have always been random attacks. There have been, you know, roadside bombs that go off that you can't always control who the target is. What we've seen over and over again over the last two weeks are very specific and what NATO calls complex attacks. That means several attackers, uh, a long time of planning involved with all of these attacks. We've seen uh, British convoys that have been attacked on the road. We've seen a place called Green Village, which houses a lot of foreign military contractors attacked. We've seen uh, other NGO buildings attacked. And now again, we're seeing this foreign guest house. The Taliban say it was a Christian missionary center. Uh, and you know, attacking these guest houses is a very complex thing. These attacks used to happen in the morning. They used to happen during the daylight and it would be very easy to repel them. What we're seeing now is that the Taliban are attacking at night, which mm. shows a, a higher degree of complexity behind these attacks. And certainly, you know, when you attack places at night, it's much more difficult for the first responders, for the Afghan special forces, and in some cases, NATO special forces, to get these people out of there simply because, you know, Kabul is not a very bright city, uh, and at night it becomes very dark, so it becomes much harder. And the concern with this specific attack, Paula, is that if there are people trapped inside that building, it's now nighttime and the Taliban know what they're doing. They're very mm -hmm. experienced. It's very easy for them to blend in with those civilians. Uh, and it's very easy for those civilians to be caught in the crossfire. If you're a special forces uh, commando, you're going into that building. How do you know who the Taliban are and how do you know who the civilians are? It's a very difficult game that's being Excellent played. Excellent right point. Now. There's no one, no thing off limits for the Taliban right now. And just talking about boots on the ground, President Obama agreed to extend U.S. combat role in Afghanistan targeting the Taliban. So how does this affect America's role in the country? Well, listen, if anyone needed proof that Afghanistan's security situation is very volatile, all you have to do is look back at the spike that's going on right now in violence. It almost feels like this was Kabul 
You know, in 2007 or 2008, the Taliban are still attacking the heart of the city. They're making a very strong message to foreigners that they are not welcome in Afghanistan. And the Taliban and the militants are targeting those foreigners in places that, you know, there was a point in time where you thought Kabul was getting better. But I know from my contacts in the city, people are afraid, they're scared. They're saying, you know, if there's a resurgence of the Taliban, there's no reason American troops should be leaving. Uh, so the fact that American troops are staying is, is an indication that the Taliban are strong, the Taliban what's been happening in Iraq, the de deteriorating situation there, and the fact that now America has a problem on its hands with what to do with ISIS. No one wants to see that play out in Afghanistan. Um, but uh, what we're seeing with the security situation now is it's become so volatile uh, that these are some of the threats that American troops are going to continue to face the longer that they stay there on the ground. All right, Mohammed Leela in London, we know that you're going to be monitoring this story throughout the day uh, there from London, which appears to be the 12th attack in Kabul in just the last couple of weeks. Mohammed, thank you so much. And we are tracking this ongoing scene on abcnews.com. That's where you can find the most current information on this and all of our other top stories. I'm Paula Ferris here in New York. And for all of us here at ABC News, thank you for watching this digital special report. Enjoy your Saturday, everyone.